Hey, what's up guys? Evan Boyd here with another toy review. This time we're not going to take a look at a monster, but rather uh Ultra Hero. And he's from the new wave as well. The new 2000 line. Oh. <laughs> Ultraman. So I had this figure in 2013, which is not too far off, but he cost me $12.99 on eBay, and he was a pretty nice figure, I would always play with him, but I stopped, and he's still in good condition, really good condition. So anyway, we're going to take a look at the box, yes, I still have the box, so here it is. So let's start right here. Maybe we can focus. Maybe come on, focus. Focus. There we go. I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll just tell you what it says. Um. So it's Bandai two thousand nine, made in China. Made in China. And all that stuff, if you want to read that. Bandai. Yotraman. Number one. Which man's face. Signature pose. Number one. Read that if you want. And then there's a uh, explosion in the background. Which man sees number one. Which man in the corner. Supervised seal. Number one. Which man. 40 meters tall. 3.5 centimeters, I think. And he's from M78, obviously. And if you want to, well, you can read that. Pause it now. If you want to read that, pause it now. If you want to read that, pause it now. And if you want to read that, pause it now. Moving on. And there's all that boring stuff that no one cares about. So, yeah, that's the box. Pretty nice box. Really like it. So, and now I'm going to take a look at Ultraman himself. So, for articulation, or no, uh, for detail, the figure is very nice. The face, the mouth is very nice. The ears are very nice. The ovals are very nice. The eyes, the little fin. Everything you see on this figure is well done. Very eye-catching to the original Ultraman suit. The timer, his chest, his fists, his side, his butt, <laughs> his boots. And, yeah, lots of textures to make it look like it's a man in a rubber suit. In a rubber suit. Yeah. And that's basically all the detail on this guy. So, um, for... Paint job is just a basic yellowish white eyes, silver body, red, and blue color timer. So that's basically four colors in total. So, yeah. For articulation, this guy has just three his arms and his waist. Both articulate 360. So, yeah. Pretty basic articulation for a human figure. Now for sizing, we're going to size up with a figure that he already fought in the original Ultraman series. Gubira, or Gubila. Yeah, I like the sizing of this. It's, it's awesome right here. I love it. I like it. I mean, if you want accuracy, he was actually this tall in the episode, but, you know, I don't like the accuracy. I just go with the flow. Next, we're going to size up with a monster, which is not from Ultraman, but Ultraman Jack, but, you know, Ultra Monster, so, here he is, Earthtron. No, oh my god, that that's awesome right there. Now, let me zoom in here. You can see that they reach eye to eye if you look really closely at that, but, yeah, either way, that's, that's awesome. I like it. 
really really nice. Next, we're gonna start up with some Godzilla monsters. First up, the Banner Creation Godzilla 2004. Pretty cool. I like it. Really nice. We could team up to fight alien monsters. Next, we size up with the monster from Godzilla again. Godzilla, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Gagan 2004. Yeah. I almost called this guy Gag Godzilla. And again, I really like the size here. They really see eye to eye. Really nice. Like it. And next, we're just going to size up with good old King Ghidorah. Yeah. I like the sizing of this. I mean, the reason why he's tall is because of the sticks, but... Yeah, either way, it's a good sizing. You never, e even without the sticks, it's, a still, it's still a good sizing, no matter what. Yeah. And finally, just for fun, we're going to size up with... Well, Mega Blocks Master Chief. I like it. Really, really cool. I like it. So, uh, to conclude the review, for a figure, for a human figure, I like this figure. I actually really love this figure. I mean, I mean, I don't think you can find it on the internet or on eBay. I think, I think you can still find it on eBay. I think it's still out, but. Yeah, I think this figure is really nice. It has great paint job, great articulation, great detail, and a great sizing figure for your Godzilla and your Ultraman figures. And monsters as well. So, to that note, I give this guy a good 10 out of 10 for for a human figure. So, you're, so yeah, guys, I'll upload another video another day. And... Be sure to like this video or and subscribe to me. And for for more others for more toy reviews or just other stuff. Cause I'm actually planning on doing more things rather than toy reviews. So yeah guys, you know, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Sayonara.